Hi, Aunt friends. Julia here, recording this. August 29th, 2022. One of the kitties came on the walk with us this morning. <laughs> so yeah, honesty and integrity. Two uh, characteristics that uh, don't seem to fit the business model that we live in. In today's ambiance so it's something that we really have to uh, work on to be where we should be with it and what goes along with that is follow through and keeping your word if you commit to something then you should follow through and do what you committed to otherwise don't commit and a lot of us have that issue too so, anytime you're kind of cheating in whatever regards, it shows lack. It shows that you're coming from lack. And if you're going to illustrate that you're coming from lack, then that's what you're going to get, more lack. So it all ties into keeping that resonance where you want it. To manifest what you really want and not what you don't want. So, anytime you're dishonest or disingenuous, that changes your frequency. There's the kitty walking with us. And, um, yeah, and if you're not at the proper frequency, then you won't really manifest your conscious intentions and again that goes back to uh, doing your shadow work so you don't sabotage your intentions with the judgments that you're not good enough you're not worthy etc so it all ties in together the more virtuous you are which means you're living from your heart easier it's going to be to manifest what your heart desires and that'll change too when you start living more virtuously you're not going to want to be manifesting a good time partying you know you might want to manifest an opportunity to assist someone instead so perspective changes when you change your way of being you know if you're out there just trying to uh, escape reality and have as much fun as possible and get as much stuff as possible that's a whole different resonance from somebody who's just wants to be content have harmony in their life peace of mind be able to help others. Two different frequencies there. And uh, the former, the partying frequency, the get everything I can for me frequency, it's a mess. <laughs> and you will manifest often, especially if it's not uh, healthy for you. The system will make sure you stay in that state because you're easy to control that way. It's the uh, path of least energy to uh, let you party. And make sure you're provided for in that realm. You know, whatever your vice is to party with or just to escape with. It might not be like partying with drugs and alcohol. It might be food or porn or whatever else vices we have out there these days. Video games, I guess, is one of them now. So, yeah, all these addictions that we run into when we haven't done our emotional healing work. So, again, if you do that emotional healing work, you will have a change of heart, a change of perspective. And again, you can find playlists on this channel that will lead you to language lessons of the heart. 
a really good emotional healing modality. And again, emotional healing is what a lot of people call shadow work. And uh, yeah, you do find some characteristics about yourself that you have to forgive yourself for and move on. But mostly, shadow work is not about guilt and shame about the way you've been. It's more about finding these judgments like I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, releasing them and replacing them. Because that's the bottom line. And then from there, you will manifest what you intend and put the work into manifesting. So, yeah. Just uh, being honest, having integrity, not trying to always get one over on the other person so you can come out ahead. I mean, yeah, we all have to be taken care of individually, but we don't need to have lots of excess. So, there's no need to be trying to cheat everyone out there. And you'll have all the abundance you ever wanted if you uh, start living virtuously and uh, making sure you don't have the judgments running the show and you're unconscious and subconscious. And you'll have so much abundance that you won't have any need to be dishonest and uh, cheat or whatever, still get one over on the other person, etc. Because your abundance will just be there. It will come from sources you probably haven't even thought of. So, yeah, I think honesty and integrity and follow through are very important attributes. And, uh, yeah, we could use more of that. <laughs> so, yeah, not a lot today. Just wanted to mention that. And having patience when dealing with others in this realm and where they are, understanding that everybody is uh, doing the best they can from the level of consciousness that they're at. So, uh, yeah, just being patient with people, being honest, having integrity, following through with what you say you're going to do. If you don't think you can follow through, then don't offer whatever it is. <laughs> That's a big issue I see a lot. People say they're going to do stuff when they're in some kind of mood or whatever, and then there's no follow through. And that disappoints a lot of people who have expectations. And that's another thing, expectations versus anticipation. So that's just something to ponder. Expe expectation versus anticipation. And here comes Rosie the cat who came on our walk with us. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> this is Cosmo. Biggie. Tiger, Rosie, the black dog of Strella didn't come this morning. But yeah. Alright guys, thanks for listening. Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And always help others if you can. And I'll talk to you next time. Ciao, ciao.